electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT, is a powerful way to treat severe depression. But it is used only when traditional medication approaches have failed. Just look at me. What about you that's different? Everything I smell. You have a body odor? Mm -hmm. My hair's falling out. Mm -hmm. I'm disgusting. I'm evil. In fact, you think that you should be dead. Did you try to kill yourself? Did you really? Yep. Tell me about it. Took a bunch of pills, aspirin. When was this? On Thanksgiving. When Mary attempted suicide, morning, afternoon, it opened afternoon. all her feelings to the world. They now were expressed in all their intensity. She was worthless, hopeless, life was not worth living. She felt she was the devil, and she had the idea that the only way to end this terrible pain was suicide. She tried at home. Her husband brought her right to the hospital. And from that moment on, she had to be monitored. We had to have an individual sit with her 24 hours a day because all she could think of was trying to kill herself. There were hours in the next few days that we had to put Mary into restraints. The alternative was that she would scream and try to kill herself by any device possible. It became necessary to treat her as rapidly and as effectively as we knew how for this drive to suicide and this very severe feeling of unhappiness. I'm going to clean your head off with water. At the beginning of ECT treatment, the patient is put to sleep, and 30 seconds later is given a dose of muscle relaxant. The brevitol's going in. Nice deep breath. will be fine, but she's okay. The lid reflex is gone. Cuff is up. Okay. Bite block is in. Chin up. The impedance is low. Okay. At that point, electric current is passed through the brain for a duration of half a second to four seconds. Typically, six to ten treatments, spaced over two to three weeks, will be given. ECT produces a seizure, which needs to last for 25 to 120 seconds to be a good or effective treatment. After ECT treatments, patients will show confusion and loss of memory for recent experiences. Both of these problems clear up, and permanent memory problems after ECT are rare. Mary, open your eyes. Treatment's all over with. In Mary's case, medication did not help, and so electroconvulsive therapy was the best alternative. After treatment, Mary discussed her recent depression with her doctor. The depression that I came in here with, I don't really remember much about. Mm -hmm. 